what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to learn how to save a detailed views from your current project so that you will be able to reuse this detailed views for your new project okay so let's do this so i'm gonna open here our uh, sample project so i'll just go to the open and then let's go to this arrow until we find the sample files and then after that let's look for the rst advanced sample project so this is the project that we are working on since day one okay so let's say for example in this model they already created all the detailed views specifically drafting views by the way drafting views if you go to the view tab you can see here the drafting view so the definition of drafting view it creates a view showing details that are not directly associated with the building model so meaning to say these are just 2d drawings so any changes that you made on your drafting view it will not affect your 3d model because it's only 2d okay and vice versa any changes you do on your 3d model it will not affect your drafting view okay now in this project they already created this detail views using drafting view so you can see here there's a drafting view so if you expand that you can see this different uh, drafting views uh, created in this uh, project right so they actually also placed that inside the sheets already so if I'm going to open S-3.0 typical details, so you can see here all the drafting views inserted. So let's say, for example, for your next project, um, you are going to use all these details again. Now, for you to be able to do that, you need to save all of these drafting views. Now, to do that, what you do is you go to the file and then after that you go to save as and then you select your library okay so you select here the library and then after that you select here view okay all right so after that you can see now here the save views dialog box and as you can see um sheet s 3.0 typical details is already selected so we are going to save this so I'm going to select here OK. And then there's a dialog box again that will appear. So what you do is you go to the folder where you want to save this detail view. So let's say I'll just go here. And then you can create a folder. So let's say I'll just name it Detail Library. Okay, so you go to the Detail Library folder. And then you can now save your typical details there. So you can put any name that you like then after that let's just go to options and then change the maximum number to one okay and then select save so that's how you do it so if you're gonna open your project let's say new project so you can go to the 2022 you can go to the library and then you can now see your uh, detail there typical detail so if you open that so there's now your to the element so if you go to the view here you can see the drafting views here save now if you want to save a drafting view individually not as a sheet like this one so if i go back again to my project so what you can do is so let's say for example you want to save the footing section okay you want to save that this one and also this one so you can save it individually so what you do is you can uh, right click that and then after that you can select save to new file just click that and then after that again you can just go to the folder where you want to save it detail library and then you can put the name there and then just select save okay so after you save it again normal opening so let's try so let's your that's your uh, footing section so you can now open that so that's it okay so basically that's how you uh, save a detail view specifically drafting view for you to be able to reuse it to your next project okay 
So that's it for this video. So hopefully you learned something. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.